All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Lag Demon Craft Bill Westlake Programming. I'm Lag Demon, or Bill, and uh, this is an Unreal Engine course. And what we're going to be doing in this course is building a game. Uh, we're going to build it from complete scratch. We're going to develop all of our own resources or get some resources from external sources uh, in the case of animated characters and things like that. Right now I just want to quickly go over a little bit about what the course is about and what tools we're going to be using. Right here on the screen is the main page to the Unreal Engine site. This is where you can download Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it's completely free unless of course you uh, you build a game. You want to leave the, read the license agreement. If you build a game and sell it uh, there is some uh, some royalties to be paid. Um, but other than that, the use of this game engine is completely free and you can download it uh, right here at this site. The links to all of these tools, by the way, will be in the description below the video. Here we have Blender. We'll be using Blender to develop a variety of game assets. The uh, uh, game assets will be models and uh, in some cases textures or we'll test textures within Blender um, and uh, just whatever assets that we need. Uh, probably not animated characters. I'm not very good at character animation. So we'll be getting characters from another site, and I'll show you that shortly. But Blender will be our modeling tool for building all our game assets for all of our levels. For working with our textures, we'll be using a free program called GIMP. It's the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Uh, GIMP is completely free. You can download it here. Uh, you can donate if you would like to. Um, and this is the page. The link to this page will be in the description below. Crazy Bump is a tool that is not free. Uh, you don't absolutely need this tool to follow this course. All the textures I create will have will be completely available on GitHub and you can download the textures, but I'll be using Crazy Bump to create things like normal maps and displacement maps and so forth to go with our textures. Pexels is an excellent site for getting graphics. We'll be using Pexels to find reference images for building models and building textures using uh, uh, textures like these marble or wood. There's tons and tons of material on here. We can look up uh, wood floor, for instance. Uh, did I? Wood foot. Wood. Let's try wood floor. There we go. And here's some wood floors, other things. There's many textures, many uh, or many images that will work as textures, and we can manipulate these in GIMP to turn them into very nice textures. The best part about this is the site is completely free. Um, as you see right here, uh, all photos on Pexels can be used for free. Uh, very simple policies they have. Um, the uh, attribution is not required, but giving credit is always appreciated, and we'll be giving credit to Pexels uh, as we're doing right now. And uh, you can download and modify them and be creative with them all you want. Uh, there's a few things you can't do. Uh, you can't do things that would be you know, harmful to people with pictures of them uh, and other things. You can read through all of these. I'm not going to go over all of them. If you go to Pexels site, you can read their license agreement. Uh, and we will be using images from here for many of the things we build and the textures we build and so forth. And I will show you or tell you what the exact link is to download those and you'll be able to pull them also off of the GitHub site. And this is the GitHub site. Um, at the time of the recording of this introduction, there's nothing in there because we haven't constructed anything yet. But as the course gets developed, all of the material will be here. The Unreal Engine project will be here on this site, as well as all the graphics that you need uh, and all the material you need. Uh, and they'll be separate, but also together. So if you download the project, all, the, all of the uh, textures we used in the previous video will be in there. Um, uh, and if you download the, in, but the individual images and other, uh, resources will be available in their own directories on this site. The link to this, of course, will also be down. <clears throat> and finally, for animated characters, there's Mixamo. Uh, Mixamo is a fantastic site. You can go through here and choose a, uh, choose a character that you want to use. Um, and you can bring that character up in the window over here. And, uh, well, I don't know why it didn't change. OK, 
character. Oh, because I'm in animations, not characters. So I just put an animation on this character. So this is a character I had already selected. You can then select animations and uh, it'll go up there. So if I, if I were to select a different character, let's go to characters uh, and, uh, and select this guy. Uh, yeah, use this character. And as soon as it loads, you see that the uh, the animation that I applied to it here is applied to this character. You can see how the animation looks. You can then download these, the character and the animations. You can download the animations uh, separately as well. So you can download multiple animations for a character. All of these can be loaded directly into Unreal Engine and the animation set up for the characters. So that's how we're going to deal with that. So with that having been said, let's get into Unreal Engine and uh, and start programming or start building our game.